Thanks for being with us, uh, Greg. It's Sunday morning in New York. We have had a good conversation with you uh, around Cornell Tech. You are the dean there. It's a very interesting uh, institution. Maybe you can uh, give us a short impression in a nutshell. What uh, are you doing here and how do you see the, the role of uh, such an institution for digital transformation in, in an ecosystem like New York? Yeah. It's a great question. Uh, so Cornell Tech is a relatively new campus here uh, in the city. Uh, and it was explicitly set up with help from the New York City, uh, and particularly the mayor, Michael Bloomberg, to uh, impact the digital ecosystem for and the tech ecosystem for New York. And we're doing that by mixing together a range of graduate students from different disciplines, like electrical engineering or computer science, with professional studies like business and law. And these students are being encouraged and set up to, for example, form their own startups, spin out. We, already we've spun out about 50 companies uh, in the New York ecosystem. Um, at the same time, we're trying to do deep research in these areas to help companies and uh, society understand and, and see where technology is going. And then we're going out into the community and working with uh, K-12 educators or uh, the, the Women in Technology in New York program that helps make sure that we're more gender balanced in technology. Uh, these are all the activities that, in a nutshell, Cornell Tech is trying to do. There were two uh, um, name tags, let's say, that uh, uh, sparked a lot of interest. One was Winternship, yes. and the other was uh, a, a studio um, yep. curriculum. Um, what are those two? Two different programs, yeah. yeah. So uh, Studio is our uh, program where we're mixing together different students from different backgrounds. They could be engineers, they could be business students, they could be law students, they could be designers. We're mixing them together in teams. Uh, we have companies that come in from the New York ecosystem and pose hard questions to them. The students do a product design as a team and actually build prototypes so it's, it's hands-on. It's not just doing a marketing case or a business case. They do that, but they also go off and build the, the engineering prototypes to realize that. And the whole point is to get them to work together in teams and to, and to see that different disciplines need to be brought to bear to solve real challenges and real problems. And we think that's a really distinctive aspect of the training that we're providing. The other program that you mentioned is Whitney. That stands for Women in Technology and Entrepreneurship for New York. And Whitney is um, uh, an, a program where we're trying to get more women uh, who are studying computer science to, to either study computer science or to go off and be successful in getting jobs in the tech industry. Um, and that's because, uh, at least in, the, in America, the number of women who are participating in the, in the tech world is, is drastically smaller than it should be. Um, so these programs, uh, one of them is something we call a winternship. This is a, a winter program, three weeks long, where we work with our, uh, uh, our corporate ecosystem to try to place women in internships in, in teams of four or five uh, in those companies. And they get some experience uh, in the technical world. They get some confidence. And then when they go off and apply for internships or jobs, they're much more likely to succeed. So we saw success rates go from 3% to 50% for the women that participated in that program. Sounds really promising. Now, uh, maybe final question. Uh, it seems like you are in a very well position uh, on this great spot directly uh, in, in this uh, vibrant uh, city like New York, uh, with the invitation from the uh, mayor at that time to start uh, such an endeavor. So what I would like to know is how much do you see it? Um, is it a is it money that is driving this innovation, or is it um, more the, the cultural uh, genes involved? Uh, so, so what yeah. is it that really makes it um, sustainable and long-term uh, successful? It's a good question. Um, we don't know that it's going to be sustainable and long-term. We're, we're, we're trying to set it up to be so. Uh, part of that is diversifying our activities. Uh, so right now, we're mostly master students on campus, but we might have some part-time programs or online programs as a way to make sure we're still around in 50 years. But I think the, the key thing that we're trying to do is um, have a balance between focus not just on technology and developing new technology, but also on uh, uh, business and philosophy and other things like what are the economic impacts of technology or what are the societal impacts uh, as we roll out technology. So we're looking at it in a, in a broad sense. And I think also um, 
New York is interesting because it's, it's, it's not just the tech companies that are going to be impacted by this. In fact, right now we're going through a revolution where every company is being touched by, in particular, data science uh, and related disciplines like machine learning. Um, and they all want to learn how to apply it and use it uh, efficiently. And if you look at, for example, marketing or you look at advertising, well, you've got Madison Avenue here. If you look at banking, you look at just about any industry, it's present in New York. You can take advantage of it, and it's about to be revolutionized by data science. So we think that sort of long-term impact will be not just in the tech industry itself, but across every sector. It's going to be a very interesting uh, future in, in uh, this regard, so we are looking forward to stay in, in connection with you. Thanks a lot for today. Thank you. It's great to meet you.